so this is something a little bit different for me. I found this thread looking for more Fallout stories. Sadly there isn't many good ones I could find but what I could find was threads talking about different aspects of the Fallout universe and I've always wanted to know what the rest of the Fallout world looks like. So without further ado Fallout London 6 bongos. Evening TG. I'm going to be running a game set in the Fallout universe. I've got the mechanics and such worked out. What I need help with is some ideas. Here are the basics of the setting. Same time period as Fallout 3. It is set in and around London, England. For this I presume that Voltec were active in the UK and built at least some vaults. My PCS will most likely be newly emerging vault dwellers, but I suppose they could start as wastelanders in a town. I need help defining some factions. I've though of a couple so far. Hooligan Raiders, based out of the ruins of various football stadiums in London, Hooligan Raiders adorn themselves in the colors of their chosen football team. They have an almost religious devotion to their team. Conflicts between two different teams are particularly bloody, but they don't mind fighting wastelanders either. East London Trading Company, somewhat organized militaristic faction who dress themselves in redcoats. Heavy on propaganda and taxation, they do keep their citizens fairly well protected. So TG, I'd like some more ideas for factions for post-apocalyptic London. Any other ideas would be appreciated as well. Thanks. I suppose guns are super rare, unless England in the Fallout universe is largely unlike England in real life today. Now I don't know all that much about England Amerifag here. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the UK would probably have a special bunker for the royal family and other high ranking nobility. As such, why not have a royal guards faction? As the only legitimate ruler left, they would probably focus on restoring order to the islands under the new monarchy. You, and make them the fifth monarchy men. Well you could also include raiders from the French side of the channel. Yes I wrote that right, channel. You could also include some sort of variants of the gangs that are there now. The yardies that have major connections with drug running jet, psycho, buff out, mentats, Irish gun runners and the like. Consider major landmarks that might still be standing Big Ben, the Buckingham Palace, Parliament and make them power centers. Oh and ghouls, always ghouls, that speak in the most ghastly cockney accents. Vault. There are none, period. Vault Tech was an American company run by the American government for American experimentation and American preservation of the American political core. Your British people are far worse off than America. I like the idea about the hooligan raiders that's pretty good actually. Personally I wouldn't have Vault Tech vaults in the UK. I'd have them built by a different company but along similar lines. Perhaps drop the whole we're going to murder our customers with sadistic glee themes Vault Tech we're using you can get monsters and things hiding in abandoned shelters or where a facility broke. For example a nuclear blast redirecting a river over a section of a vault and radioactive water gradually seeped in. Possibly have the aspect more focused on the human elements that are fighting each other rather than hordes of mutants. Not sure if the UK had the fev, pretty sure it spread into the atmosphere at some point, or alternatively loads of people evacuated north to the Scottish Welsh Highlands before the nuclear exchange began and stayed there until the radiation in England had fallen to more tolerable levels, where people started moving back towards the old cities. I was thinking about getting around this somewhat by making England a faction well at war as the bombs fell, lots of old military hardware lying around, I really like that idea. I imagine they would be quite a benevolent force. I'm not sure who would be the monarch in 2100 though. That's not to say there couldn't have been a British European Union alternative company that worked to manufacture bunkers for a profit. An expansion on the underground subway metro system could also work such as in Metro 2030. I couldn't really give more Canada Colonna fag here but it's an open playing field. Just don't go too crazy. No reason he can't have a similar British base company. I see lots of zombies in your ghouls in this setting, because that's about all that's alive outside of North America as far as the enclave knew. That aside, assuming you can still find some prime normals out there. They likely survived out in Wales or Scotland not much to nuke and there are bound to be tribals galore out there in that case. I see Fallout 2 does England as your setting now, minus the American factions and all their toys. Yeah, I think I will change them to a different company name. Time to brainstorm some names I guess. I was thinking something that makes it sound rather small time, like in Sun's Nuclear Bunkers LTD. What's good about being in Britain is that you can finally explain where Tenpenny came from. Britain wouldn't have vaults, 
but it would have bunkers and shelters built by the government, as existed during World War II. They'd probably do a much better job of preserving British government, perhaps leading to a more totalitarian state, one with cameras everywhere and securitrons on every corner. Implying there aren't gun stores in nearly every major city, and in a lot of large towns. Implying there wouldn't be military armaments as well, guns owned by hunters, target shooters, etc. Guns imported from overseas following the nuclear war, all the illegal weaponry on the streets as well. It always disappointed me that when they acquired the Fallout IP they never dares to venture off and make it their own thin. For example take the story to Europe and England for example. Fallout London would be bloody awesome. I think Scottish Welsh tribals would be quite good. I'm thinking they'd be extremely xenophobic towards and English who survived in vaults. Now that you say that, perhaps I could change the backstory up and make England get all 1984 and the build up to the Great War. Maybe the citizens see the destruction as a chance to break free of the totalitarian regime? No it wouldn't. That doesn't fit the theme of Fallout. Fallout has always been about a retro Y post-war America. Plus London got its shit kicked in. Hard. They've been destroyed. You could read up on Burlington. It's basically a real life vault built in the Cold War to house the 4000 civil personnel. This site even has maps and everything so you could probably use it in your game. Also, I just found this on Fallout, the Fallout Resource Wars. So apparently some consideration has been given to a game not following North America. The Tenpenny Family Estate. Located in the rural countryside of southern England, the Tenpennies managed to avoid most of the bomb blast, being in a rural area. However the end of civilization certainly affected them. Due to their vast lands, people from nearby farms fled to them. Since then, the Tenpennies have become almost tribal. The Tenpennies label themselves Lord and Lady, while the workers who live in the camps outside their manor and their fields are titled as serfs and locked into Tenpenny service. The men who enforce law on the estate are generally titled as knights, taking the title of Sir before their name. They are usually armed with old, ornate hunting rifles and shot guns, although do not don armor as is their namesake. They often hold large cottages and have a few serfs under their command on the tenpenny lands. Possibly, but with the pretty poor selection of weaponry available to the general population an uprising probably wouldn't work. Sure there are loads of guns on the streets but compared to the US the density and quality of weapons. Not to mention ammo is quite low especially given I assume most of the people and their weapons would be vaporized in the inner cities when they get nuked. You'd probably get a few crude firearms with real scavengers and whatever's left of the government would probably have the only stuff worth a damn. Then you haven't been listening to tell old developers opinions about it. Imported. Following the nuclear war. Yeah. Ask that mutant gang if they'll trade oh god they're raping us. If you really want to work within the Fallout vibe, work in some references to period British sci-fi. People like John Wyndham the Day of the Triffids, the Kraken Wakes and the Chrysalids or Samuel Ude the Death of Grass, the World in Winter. Classics like After London, The Sleeper Awakens or The Machine Stops might be sources to draw upon. 2. Hooligan Raiders, based out of the ruins of various football stadiums in London. Hooligan Raiders adorn themselves in the colors of their chosen football team. They have an almost religious devotion to their team. Conflicts between two different teams are particularly bloody, but they don't mind fighting wastelanders either. Make it so that nobody actually remembers what football is. Reclusive mole people living in a vast system of bunkers in the deepest parts of a now even bigger subway system. Subways are the new underdark. The mole people are extremely totalitarian and there are cameras in every hall. Recently their overtly bureaucratic government has finally accepted the decision of expanding to the surface and start tapside air colonies, and everything is banned down there. Also Triffids and Welsh tribals wearing sheepskins using longbows. They go hunting for game in the forest with tamed, mutated foxhounds, riding on horseback, which is where they get most of their foods. As predators lurk in the surrounding farms to eat the crops and make returning there unsafe. It would have been torn to shit even beforehand. They fought a massive war in Europe and the Middle East for resources. The Tempanies sometimes use these crops and fields as a punishment. They will leave someone to run for their life in the field. If they outrun the predators and make it to the other side of the field, they are exiled, but gain their life. If not, American retro doesn't fit in Britain. That's true, but Britain has its own retro periods. Maybe one part Austin Powers, one part 1984. One part H.G. Wells? I totally want mutant man-eating plants now. And I have the temptation to make the major plot device a tripod a la war of the world. Everyone trying to seize it for various reasons. 
Remember to include a fanatical druidic cult in the countryside, which burns captive alive inside giant statues. Their leader is a ghoul who calls himself Lord Samariel, but is cagey about what he did before the war. Royal Guard ghouls still standing guard on their old posts. K but that wouldn't exist. Remember how post World War II everyone in America was happy because we never fought on our soil? Everyone else was dreary because everyone was in the middle of the fighting in England? That's what happened in Fallout. The nukes fell on America, but it was still a happy place because until then nothing had happened. As said, the place would be dreary and their happy culture destroyed before the nukes fell. After that there would be little to no references to the retro times that survived. Get what I'm saying? Welsh tribals wearing sheepskins using longbows. This, 100% this. The higher ups speak Welsh entirely, and the lower tier Welsh tribals speak a pidgin language mix of Welsh and English with a Welsh accent. Their chief thinks he's King Arthur. Longbows in the wasteland are at least necessary if you're setting it in England. So what mutant wildlife do you think would be around? English wildlife isn't very interesting, so I'm rather stuck for ways to mutate it. It is set in and around London, England. V here, there was no nuclear holocaust in London. Cite your work faggot. Radbudgers. Just. Fucking radbudgers. Instead of vaults, Britain had a stay behind network of people in villages, away from nuclear targets. Part-time paramilitaries with secret caches of gear and instructions. Watership down, with mutants. Go wherever you want with that. One thousands of nuclear bombs dropped on each side of the world. Thinks anyone is spared from nuclear holocaust. Mr. Toads, Peter Rabbits, etc. So it wouldn't feel as grim derp because Britain was already a wasteland before it got nuked. Watership down, with mutants. Welcome to Mutant Under Gonjans of the latest edition of a Swedish RPG inspired by Gamma World. I play Fallout. Only China and the US were hit by nuclear bombs. I'm assuming the rest of the world is just too busy to help out, right? Faction so far. Hooligan Raiders. No idea what football is. The team is their religion. East London Trading Company. Redcoats with machine guns. Welsh Tribals. Armed with longbows and the like. Pretty much as. Royal Guard. The last remnants of the royal family emerging from their bunker along with their guards. Morlocks in the underground subway are a must. Also Wombles. Perhaps some abhuman hobbit style race? Or anthro talking hedgehogs? Games Workshop headquarters is inhabited by a cult of ghouls think Bright Brotherhood based around worship of chaos gods, interpreting all the rule books as being actual holy books. So look, before I say anything, um, the rest of the thread you can find that down below. I'm not going to cover more of it because it's just going to turn into like a four hour long video or like, you know, a minimum of a four parter. You know, it's just not worth it. I think we've got a lot of the good ideas already put out. And like, you know, this is just an idea. What I like about it is I like to make videos and make people think like, oh, that sounds like a really cool set. I would like to do that myself. You know, I'm, I'm all into that. Like, you know, I'm, I always gush about characters and like, you know, doing something that wee bit different, just something to make it, you know, that wee bit more. And I think for me, I've always been a really big fan of uh, Fallout, like, you know, ever since I started playing it. And I always really enjoyed anything to do with Chinese in the game, I always loved the Chinese, just because it was something, like, you know, that wee bit different. And we've always been stuck in America. Like, you know, I would just love to see... I just want to know what's going on. And for me, the idea of, like, you know, one set in London, I think, is fucking hilarious. I love that Austin Powers mixed with 1984 Fallout. It just works so fucking well. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> them English uh, no sorry the Welsh gong booming with sheepskin and shit oh that, that shit does it for me I love it I think it's really cool and like you do this anywhere like you know even with Russia and all like you know with like you know weird metal sort of feel or you know there's just so much you could do Um, there's so much you can do and like different feels and aesthetics and like you know postmodern retroism and all that type of shit like you know every company's got their own version of it like you know and I would just love to see that expanded upon you know i'm really into it and you know i don't even want to talk about the state of fallout at the moment like you know that uh it's just not good and there's so much that there's so much that they could do with the universe if they just applied themselves better you know because um the way it's going um i'm not really overly hyped for the new elder schools and i'm a massive elder schools fag i i i 
thousands upon thousands of hours have been put in to Elder Scrolls games as well as Fallout games and to me they're some of the best games I've ever played one of my some of my fondest memories and it just feels like they're going a bit downhill but I still love the setting you know so like I'm going to try and maybe get a bit more like I'm, I really want to do some Skyrim shit to be honest with you and some Oblivion stuff I love it maybe a bit of uh, Morrowind although Morrowind I only played at the time I never really went back just because lack of voice acting there's a lot of stuff that you know a lot of people hype over but I'm just not old enough to have enjoyed Morrowind to its full potential potential sorry but like I'm Lampton now um, I'll leave you boys to it let me, down, no, let me know down below what you thought like you know, if there any ideas that you would put in I think there's so much you could do and not just with London as I'm saying anywhere like you know anywhere you can think of what would you like to see just it has to have the same sort of feel you know I don't know I don't know I think it's a little cool anyway like I'll leave you boys to it I'll talk to you later I hope you enjoyed if you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop!